Hey guys, Martin here for Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a mattress with a great balance of comfort and support, you've come to the right video. Today we're talking about the Casper Original Mattress. We're gonna take a look at its construction, my experience with it, who it's a good fit for and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, you wanna see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. There you're gonna find some other reviews on mattresses, bedding, and pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Casper. You'll also find some great coupons in the YouTube description below. So the Casper Original Mattress is one of the most popular mattresses on the bed in the box market, and it has been for quite a long while. That's because of something they have called zone support in the second layer, it gives a great balance of comfort and support. I'm a big fan of this mattress, I wanna hop in right now. So now let's take a look at the construction of the Casper Original Mattress. First off, it's going to be 11 inches tall. Then starting off on top and working our way down. On top, you have a knit cover, very thin, breathable, and soft as well. The top layer of the Casper is something called Airscape Foam. It's basically responsive polyfoam. You can see here, bounces back into place very quickly. It's also ventilated for airflow to help with cooling. Now below that, you have your layer of zone support. Now this is kind of the center and the heart of the Casper mattress. Basically, we have a layer of memory foam, and towards the center, it's going to be firmer than the head and the foot of the mattress. You can see it's even a different color here. It's gonna give you kind of that balance of comfort and support and give you support in the right areas, comfort in the right areas as well. This is the all foam version of this mattress. It's also a hybrid version. With this all foam version, again, you're gonna have a foam base layer. So what does all that mean? Well, first off, let's talk about, again, the zone support. It's gonna be a good match for multiple sleeping positions, giving the right comfort and the right support in the right areas. Speaking of cooling, it is an all foam mattress, so it might trap some heat. That being said, for an all foam mattress, not a horrible match for hot sleepers, a breathable cover right on top, and ventilation for airflow. Last but not least, speaking of durability, looking at the construction, the overall materials here should last between seven and 10 years. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought the Casper was close to a 7 out of 10. It's a little bit firmer than average. That's because on top you do have some softer layers, but you press in, it's firmer beneath that. Again, it does have zone support in the construction, so it is firmer towards the center of the mattress, softer towards the head and foot of the mattress. Speaking of feel, overall has more of a balanced, kind of responsive foam feel. So again, press my hand in, bounces back into place very quickly. Test out the bounce. We have our ball here. Wow, that's some very, very good bounce for a foam mattress. So let's me know it's very easy to move around on the Casper. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on the Casper Original Mattress. Starting off my back, a very good match for me. Nice balance of comfort and support. Also some extra support from the zone support on my lumbar area, a very good match for back sleeping. Moving to my side, not a bad match for me. Some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. It is softer in those areas of the mattress. At the same time, if you're a lighter person, lighter than 250 pounds, you should feel even better pressure relief than I did. Finally, moving to my stomach, a decent match for stomach sleeping. Again, the zoning in the middle is making it firmer. So I'm feeling a little bit of support under my hips, but not quite enough. So not the most fantastic option for me as a stomach sleeper. Here at Mattress Clarity, we like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. I pay close attention to my side sleeping results specifically on my shoulders and my hips. Let's get started. So if you sleep with a partner, you also wanna think about motion transfer. Basically, if you're lying down on one side of the mattress, your partner moves around on the other side, are you gonna feel that motion or not? To test out the motion transfer on the Casper mattress, place a glass of water here in the center, push all the areas around it. You can see the water is not disturbed too much, actually absorbing this motion quite well. To further test out the motion transfer with the Casper mattress, I laid down on one side of the mattress and Tanner moved around on the other side. He changed positions, he got in and out of bed, and I didn't feel too many hip movements transferred to my side of the mattress. Overall, some pretty good handling of motion transfer. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the mattress, you also want to think about edge support. Basically, if you're sitting down or lying down near the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more you're going to roll off and onto the floor? So here I am sitting down near the edge of the Casper Original Mattress. I feel very secure in this position. I can lean over and easily tie my shoes. But lying down on this mattress, 
You can see I'm lying very close to the edge. I'm rolling around. It's not collapsing too much under my weight. So overall, some very good edge support. And now let's talk about the pros who I think the Casper might be a good fit for. First off, it's a great option for back sleepers. With that zone support, you're gonna get some extra lumbar support with this mattress. Also overall, a good balance of comfort and support. Very nice for back sleeping. I think also a very good match for light and medium weight combo sleepers. Good support when you're on your back, good pressure relief when you're on your side, and enough support when you're on your stomach. Last but not least, speaking of feel, if you prefer more of a balanced foam feel that lets you sink in just a little bit, but it's not too hard to move around, you'll definitely like the Casper. So now let's talk about the cons, of who I think this mattress might not be the best fit for. First off, I think if you're a heavyweight side sleeper, you might want to look elsewhere. I felt some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and hips, but if you're over 250 pounds, you might want to find something made specifically with larger people in mind. Also, I think if you sleep just on your stomach, you might want something a little bit firmer. You might get enough support under your hips, but overall, if you sleep just in this position, find a firmer mattress overall. And last but not least, speaking of feel, if you prefer more of that slow moving memory foam feel where you lie down and slowly sink in, you don't really get that with the Casper. Overall, it has more of a balanced, responsive foam feel. If you're taking a look at the Casper mattress, you might want to know how it compares to one of its major competitors. Let's do that right now. We're talking, of course, about the purple mattress. So first off, there are some construction differences. Now with the Casper on top, you have some airscape foam. Below that, the proprietary zone support layer of memory foam, firmer towards the center, softer towards the head and foot of the mattress. Now over on the purple, you have a very unique hyperelastic gel polymer that forms the proprietary purple grid. This is going to be pressure leaving and supportive at the same time. It's also very breathable. Now, speaking of firmness, the purple is going to be a little bit softer than the Casper mattress. Now, speaking of feel, they are both responsive mattresses, but their feels are slightly different. With the Casper more of a balanced foam feel, with the purple more of a responsive kind of squishy gel feel, it's firm and pressure leaving at the same time. And last but not least, speaking of price, the Casper is going to cost less than the purple. So who should get one and who should get the other? In terms of who should get the Casper, I think a better option for combo sleepers and those who want more of an affordable mattress. In terms of who should get the purple, I think a better option for hot sleepers and those who want something a bit more durable. So the Casper original mattress is a bed in a box mattress. It's going to come to your house in a cardboard box. How do you unbox it? Well, it's easy to follow these instructions. First off, ask a friend for help. These boxes can be quite heavy. You don't want to hurt or strain yourself. Then bring that box inside and into your bedroom. Open up the top of the box and take out your rolled up mattress. Place it on your framework foundation and slowly carefully cut through the layers of plastic. You don't want to damage your brand new mattress. Then give it about 24 to 48 hours to completely off gas and expand and you're good to go. So now I have to give you some additional information about the Casper mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty. They offer other mattress models, accessories and financing as well. If you do want to purchase the Casper mattress, head over to mattressclary.com for the best coupons. So now I have to answer some frequently asked questions about the Casper mattress. The first question is, is the Casper a good mattress? In our experience, it's a very good mattress. Very nice materials, overall a nice mattress. But it's more about what you're looking for in particular. If you want something that's good for back sleeping and for combo sleepers, the balanced foam feel should be a great option for you. The second question is, does the Casper mattress require a box spring? And the quick answer is no. According to the company, this mattress does not require a box spring. The last question is, how long will the Casper mattress last? Now, taking a look at its construction, its materials overall should last between seven and 10 years. In addition, again, they have a great 10 year warranty. In the end, I think the Casper is a great option for back sleepers, combo sleepers, and those who prefer more of a balanced foam feel. Well, that's about it. If you're just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclare.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.